Welcome to Learnpedia, the ultimate JE NEET prep tool currently being used by more than 20,000 aspirants. Let's see if you can answer this actual NEET question. If you think you got the answer, please post it in the comment section below. To understand the concept behind this question, go ahead and watch this video. EEG or the electrocardiograph. This particular instrument would record and analyze the electrical activity of the heart. It is through a LED system, that is 12 LED system, where electrodes are placed on the human body to monitor the electrical activity. So here you can see there are 6 chest LEDs, they are named as V1 to V6 and they are present on specific positions on the ribcage. Then you have 4 limb leads, two on the arms and two on the legs. So the leads that are present on the arms, they can be placed anywhere between the shoulder and the elbow. The leads on the legs, they can be placed above the ankle and just below the torso. So the ECG would produce the electrocardiograph, that is they are waves on the graph paper. The waves produced are P, Q, R, S, T. As such, they don't have any meaning or they are not given these letters for some reason. They are just given that way. The graphic record is known as the electrocardiogram and it would show a series of waves. It relates to the electrical impulses which occur during each cardiac cycle. So the waves are P, Q, R, S, T. Now they are not given it because of some reason, it's just given that way. So first we'll discuss the P wave. So this particular wave is the P wave. This P wave occurs due to the electrical potential that are generated during the atrial depolarization and before the contraction of the atria and this occurs for around 0.1 second. Next is the QRS complex. So this is Q, this is R and this is S. So the Q it is a negative wave whereas R it is a tall positive wave whereas S is a negative wave again. So this occurs due to the spread of the impulse of contraction from the AV node and through the bundle of His and the Purkinje fibers resulting in the contraction of the ventricles. This occurs for around 0.08 to 0.1 second. Whereas next is the T wave. This T wave it occurs due to the ventricular repolarization that is due to the relaxation of the ventricular muscles and this is in comparison to the P wave or any other wave it is slightly broad and smooth and rounded. This occurs for around 0.2 seconds. So this was regarding the waves. Next we will discuss the intervals that are present. So first we will discuss the PR interval. So this PR interval it is from the beginning of the contraction of the atria here and to the beginning of the contraction of the ventricles. So it extends from this region to this region and it extends from 0.12 to 0.2 seconds. The next is the QT interval. QT interval. So the QT interval extends from this point till the end of the T wave. This particular interval gives us information regarding the electrical activity of the ventricular muscles. It is present for about 0.4 seconds. Then there is ST segment. This segment extends from the end of the S wave to the beginning of the T wave. This is the isoelectric or the zero voltage period. And so is the case with the PR segment. It also indicates the isoelectric or the zero voltage period. And the RR interval that is from this point till the next R wave is the duration of one cardiac cycle. This is how the ECG is recorded in a normal individual. In case there is any variation in the size of the wave or the duration of the wave or the interval between two waves, then it infers that there is some problem with the heart. So in case this P wave, it is enlarged, it means that the atria is enlarged. And if there is a variation in the duration or amplitude or the shape of this QRS wave, QRS complex, then it infers that there is some kind of problem with the bundle of His. If the PR interval is very long, then it means that the heart shows bradycardia, that is slow beating of the heart. In case this PR interval is shortened one, it infers tachycardia, that is fast beating of the heart. In case of a prolonged QT interval, it infers myocardial infraction or heart attack. Shortened QT interval would indicate hypercalcemia, that is excess elevated calcium in the blood. In case this ST segment is elevated and appears like a wave, then it infers myocardial infraction. A tall T wave would infer hyperkalemia, that is high potassium in the blood. In case this T wave is inverted, then it infers hypokalemia or low potassium in the blood. So this is regarding the electrocardiograph. 
Hey there, hope you understood the concept. Here is the solution to the question asked at the beginning. Found this video useful? Hit the like and share icons to enjoy more such videos. Learnpedia's JE and NEET prep tools contain more than 4,000 videos and over 20,000 questions accessible online on our website and offline on an SD card or a pen drive. To buy now, visit www.learnpedia.in. You can also try a free demo of the product before buying it.